Hey everyone, today's video is going to be real different and real fun. Hope you guys are ready to become Super Saiyan with me. Roll the intro. Hey everyone, it's your boy Eric once again from Eric's Illustrations videos for the Commotion Media. Today's video is going to be real fun. I got a lot of requests from people asking me to draw Dragon Ball Z characters. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to draw my boy Trunks. Trunks is one of my favorite characters characters for me the, when the first time i saw him with the sword it was like the coolest even though there's characters like goku or vegeta that are actually vegeta is my favorite but like when i saw him with the sword i was like these guys are the coolest so and it's also from the future so how can you miss right so uh today's video is going to be a little different before we jump into that remember to like share and subscribe all the videos and also if you like any of the content we're dropping hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video and if you like any of the music, remember to hit the link in the description below for Be The Human. His music is amazing. All right, so let's just jump right into what we're gonna do today. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw a character from Dragon Ball Z. However, I'm not gonna just copy it because I want to explain what the difference to me is between doing fan art and doing just straight up copying or, or do, do not fall in plagiarism, right? So let's jump right into it. Okay. So let's ask ourselves, what is the difference between fine art and plagiarism, or basically straight up copying, right? So, well, the question to me is actually very easy to answer if you think about it, because the point of fine art is actually in the name, because it's, it's you as a fan are doing art of your favorite character, or and that means is what you are you're drawing how you envision that character that means you have to put your own spin in it and you have to share your point of view to others right and that doesn't mean you cannot use reference for the character as you will see in this video i actually get a lot of reference when it comes to color and stuff like that but my point with this is when you see a character and you want that character you have to be able to get that essence of the character but also in your style right so, um, you're not just copying, you're basically interpreting the character. Just like any musician would play a song for that other musicians wrote, right? Or composers or whatever, right? But what I mean by that is when I look at the character, I will say, I will draw this character, but I'm not just going to copy it from another artist i want to do it in my style so i look for custom i look for hair i look for any facial feature that is like very recognizable from that character like let's say i'm gonna draw saitama from uh one punch man you know that saitama has this dead look like this no expression face to him so you're not gonna draw him like you would draw let's say janos that has a lot of expression on his face because you want to be able to be faithful to the character while drawing it in your style right so um when i go i look at the art and i try to incorporate that with trunks i want to capture the super saiyan anger because you know that's something very recognizable for any super saiyan but also this is a very determined person compared to others because like when he got into battle he just basically straight up cut uh, cut Frieza, right? That's something that everyone was afraid to do, but he wasn't because of his determination. So I wanted to choose this pose because to me it's the most Trunks pose about to use his sword and chop someone down, right? So, uh, as you can see, and going back to my point when it comes to fan art or plagiarism, these Trunks, you can't tell it's Trunks because of the hair, because of the clothes, because of the sword, but you will see that this is not the way Trunks would look in the show or even in any other fan art because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to draw the character with my own style so the eyes are now manga anime like or even Dragon Ball Z like which is a completely different eye than any other anime but you can tell in essence that it's Trunks and even if you are not a fan of the show if you know Trunks you're gonna see this and you're gonna say oh yeah that's Trunks it looks a little a bit off but it's Trunks and that's exactly what fan art is to me it's trying to do your own drawing that transmit what the character is. So I'm always trying to create characters of my own, for sure. But it's always fun to draw others' uh, ideas. You know, like um, Toriyama's art in this case. Or drawing any other manga or any other comic book character. But do it on your style. 
Why? Because that's the point of fan art. Fan art is a thing that you do because you love a character, but you're also at the same time learning from it. And by that I mean is when you draw someone else's idea, you will see what works for them and what they do, and that might actually work for you. Let's say you draw Toriyama's art and you say, oh, I like the way these muscles are drawn. I'm going to do something like that for my own thing. And even if you do faces different, you're getting parts of the, of the art from other people into your style. Like, uh, as an example, I do like the way uh, American comic books are like very muscular, but I love the way uh, anime characters flow with the movement and also their hair. So that's something they're trying to mix. So I do a bit of a both. So if you see my style, my style is a mix between American comic books and manga, because I see things from both that I enjoy. I try not to copy, but I but I try to get stuff from both media that I actually like. So when it comes to my style, you will see some elements that you would say, that looks like a manga thing, or you would say that's a bit too comic booky, but the end game is to get your own style. Draw getting your own style is something that takes a lot, like long time, it takes a long time. To me, it's been years, and to me, after almost my whole life of drawing, my style is something that started to come out in the last few years, even months. And it, a style is something that will also keep changing. The more you draw, the more you do other people's uh, perspective in things, the more you draw your own thing and see what works for you, your style will keep growing and growing and growing. My, my perfect example for this is when you see Jim Lee's art in, let's say, X-Men 90s. Anything from the 90s from, for Jim Lee, you will see his style is starting to come out. But now you see a comic book like Batman Hush, which was like lots of years later, you will see that his style is more recognizable. And that's exactly what it comes to that. Actually, Jim Lee started drawing all the people's work, and then he moved to Image and did his own thing. But then again, the funner part comes into it. And even, you cannot, you will not say that drawing a comic book is fun art. However, he's drawing Batman, a character that was created like 70 years before he started drawing it, right? So that's my point. You can draw other people's work, but you can do it your own. And that's when it comes to original things. You can do a Batman, but you can do it, let's say, in a punk-ish style. You can do Flash, but you can do him as an anarchist. Or even something that has happened in comics before, just like Superman Red Sun, which is a Soviet Superman. And that's what I mean by fun art. It's basically taking your art to the next level. So you do your art, you honor the characters that you like, but you also give it your own spin. And when people see it, they will not say, oh, he just straight up copied uh, a post from the show. They will say, oh, he drew Trunks. Oh, he drew Batman. Oh, I like his take on the character. And that's what fan art is. So if you were a fan of a character, it's fine if you want to draw it. Even if you want to just straight up copy from a show. Because sometimes I do stuff like that. Like I watch things. And I try and capture some poses, capture what is happening on the show, but just for practice. And then I say, okay, now I'm going to draw this character, but I'm going to try and make it mine. And if you see my Instagram, there's a lot of fan art in it, but there's also some some original work. Um, what I try to do is, uh, if you see, sometimes I do live drawing sessions. What I do is I get people's ideas to draw on random, and that's when the... Uh, creativity comes like because sometimes someone will say hey draw I don't know uh, this character from this show and sometimes they will say draw a mermaid but it's a zombie mermaid and that's when your creativity comes right and that's something you get from drawing a lot of people's artwork and you will see like if you drew zombies from The Walking Dead but you do not want to draw in that style you will still get some of that and that's the, the power of fan art for me so just on an end note if you don't think you're good enough to do your own style or to start doing your own thing, remember that the more you draw, the better you get at it. If you see my drawings from three or four years ago, I'm ashamed of them because that's not what I think is my best work, but that's something you have to go through if you want to get better. So the more you draw, even if it's your own thing, your own characters, or if it's someone else's and you're just trying to capture the essence of the character, that will help you in the long run. So keep drawing, keep drawing the characters you like, but remember to always try and put your own spin to it and give it your own personality. And that's what I want this to be, you know, 
the idea of what fan art is. All right, guys, that was the drawing. I hope you guys enjoy it. But I still wanted you to see how it went and a little of my progress while I draw. If you guys want to see more of that, if you want to see tutorials on how I do my stuff, uh, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to teach you or at least give you my two cents on how to do art when it comes to, you know, coloring and all that. I think it was fun. I had a lot of time drawing trunks in my own style without falling into plagiarism, but also being accurate to the character. If you guys like it, let me know. This might be one of the formats that I might be using in the future. If you guys enjoy it, please hit the like button and share with your friends. I want to know what other characters I should draw. And if you think this trunks is cool, let me know. If you don't like it, also let me know. All right, guys, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe all the videos. We're dropping new content, everything from uh, art, we're dropping uh, sports talk, we're dropping food videos. Those are actually my favorite. But if you guys want to see more, hit that notification bell. We'll be notified and we'll be dropping three to four videos a week. It's amazing. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again for joining. Remember to let me know what you want to see and stay blessed.